Okay, so this is a list of basic hotkeys that I like to use in Blender and what they do. So if you see, uh, we have our basic cube here, and if you want to edit this, you're going to want to first tab into edit mode, and that will allow you to have much more control over this cube. So if I press tab and enter edit mode, you'll see that we have up here by default the uh, uh, vertex selects, which manipulates the vertexes. We have edge select, which manipulates the edges, and we have face select, which manipulates the uh, faces. Uh, then we have the uh, XYZ uh, drag tool, the XYZ rotation tool, and then the XYZ scale tool. Underneath those, we have the extrude tool, the inset tool, the bevel tool, and uh, we can add loop cuts, to add extra geometry, and we can use the knife tool to also add extra geometry. If you press the keyboard letter A, you can select your whole model, and once you've pressed A, you can press S to scale the whole model, you can press G to drag the whole model, and you can press R to rotate the whole model. You can also uh, specifically manipulate your model along certain axes by uh, pressing the uh, direction that you want to do based off your keyboard. So if I press SZ, you can scale along the Z, SX scales along the X, and SY scales along the Y. Similarly, pressing GZ uh, drags on the Z, pressing GX drags along the X, and pressing GY drags along the Y. And obviously, now, if you press RZ, you can rotate on the Z. If you press RX, it rotates on the X. And if you press RY, you rotate on the Y. And you can snap your model to very specific angles by uh, typing in a number on your keyboard. Say, if you press RX90, now I've rotated the model by 90 degrees. You can press I to inset faces. You can press Alt E to extrude along normals or extrude in any way you want. If you're trying to select a row of edges or a bunch of edges, you can go to the edge select tool and you can uh, press Alt and then left click on the edge you want and it will select the whole line. And by pressing down Shift and continuing to press Alt left click, you can select any edge that you want. You can press Ctrl B to bevel objects. And uh, if you have ends, like the ends I have here, if I try and bevel the ends of this object, it's not going to work. So if I select the edge and I bevel, you'll see that it quickly runs out of space. But that's okay because we can fix this really easily by going to the bevel settings and changing it to percent. And now if I bevel, there's a lot more leeway for me to work with.